plug the headphones in, yeah. just record it, and the people take you so much more seriously. <laughs> right. And I'm like, yeah. and then as soon as like people are like, what are you setting up here, yeah. doing that? And I'll be like, put the headphones on. They'll be like, oh, yeah, he's important. He's, he's legit. A- <laughs> you know, what I, mean? I feel like I can I can give out prescriptions, and <laughs> medical advice with these headphones. We're just doing open heart surgery here. Exactly. We're just live podcasting. <laughs> so I'm just doing it with a knife and fork, though. Exactly. Apparently, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, would you like to get into it? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay. Here we are at Zoku Coffee in Green Lake with yeah. Antonio, and we're going to ask you our first question. Mm-hmm. M&M's or Skittles? Ooh. Um, well, it depends. Is oh. It, is it peanut? Oh. Peanut and M&M's? This is why we have this question. Yeah, exactly. Because peanut and M&M's suck. We might have to end this interview. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no. I love, I like peanut M&M's. Actually, I prefer. Have you ever heard of, heard of uh, Goober's? What are goobers? <laughs> I feel like that's a booger that you're like flicking at. Here's my goober. And you're like, snatch. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's normally what you would call it. But I mean, uh, basically, they're, they're M&M's with peanuts without the actual outer shell. Oh. Is so, it like those naked ones like the, that you see the, uh, the, there's people on TV that are getting upset that there's like naked shell M&M's and they're like, oh no. There's people that get upset about naked M&M's? Yeah, like when they're wearing different heels or shoes oh. or something like that. <laughs> and you're, they're like, oh, now they don't have a shell. They're basically naked. Oh, right, yeah. right. Like anyone cares what an m and is doing. Yo, people get mad at anything, Everything, man. right? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, Okay, so this Goober. Yeah, so Goobers, I always go to, um, when I go to the movies or whatever, mm-hmm. I always get Goobers. Okay. I always sneak in, you know, a nice oh, little yeah, okay. pack. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I see. Just so I used to work at a movie theater oh. and you were the one sneaking stuff I, in I was okay I was, so you know what I, I admit it it's on record now <laughs> <laughs> so anyone who's at a movie theater sees Antonio come in right pat him down exactly. steal a goober and then let him go exactly that's what it is <laughs> yeah all right what do you do to pay the bills uh so I do a lot of things um I content create yeah so I produce content for other brands for large small brands oh wow um I also am an actor recently yeah I just started what sort of stuff are you acting in um, I'm doing a lot of commercials. Okay. Uh, so a lot of online commercials. So like hemorrhoid cream commercials, and you're like, you know what? I'll take anything right now. You know, now. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but so I'm, not, I'm, not, not, <laughs> I'm not saying no. I know. <laughs> I'm open to it, okay? <laughs> hemorrhoids, if you're listening. <laughs> Preparation H, if you're listening. I'm in. <laughs> I'll do it for free. You should no. do voiceover <laughs> acting as well. <laughs> Hang on, Preparation H. <laughs> we, got, we got this. <laughs> Let's smooth this over. <laughs> I think this whole podcast is just going to be us laughing. <laughs> I think so. I'm so crazy because it's like, I wonder if these other people actually hear it. I should put one headphone no. on. And oh, one now off. you're looking like, now you're trying to look, step it up. Like you've got style adding it up. And I'm like, oh, now I'm a loser with two on. Right. Like I'm right. going to have to do like that. Oh no, mine are on top of my head. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I do um, also movies. I've been yeah. into a couple of movies as well. Like Some TV uh, shows. Are you doing these uh, independent movies? Are we doing like? Am I seeing you that you're a Marvel movie star and I haven't seen it yet? No, I'm not. I'm mostly in background with okay. the, the movies or whatever, oh, okay, okay, so, yeah. or the TV How shows. How do you get involved in that? Um, well, there's there's websites out there yeah. where you can just like put your information on there. And there's and stuff happening around here, or you happen to travel yeah. to do it? Here in Seattle, and I travel as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, you should link me up. If I can be a background person in something. For sure. Yeah. For sure. You and I walking by just laughing. Exactly. Like, Shut these people <laughs> up. They're laughing in the background. That's basically it. Yeah. 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 No, it's fun. Uh, I mean, some of it is a lot of hours up here, yeah. you know, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it's really fun. It's, it's, it's fulfilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was just actually on this uh, project uh, not too long ago, and it was really fun. Yeah. Um, it was like... Can you talk about what project was or not yet? Cause um, not well, I mean, I guess I already posted it up on, on oh, social media. It's on the gram. It's official. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of official. But, I mean, I won't tell that much. I'm not yeah. going to tell anything about the story or nothing yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, it's a Kevin Coster movie. Oh, really? It's coming out for at least. Are you one of the wolves? Are you dancing with no, me? No, I am not dancing with <laughs> <laughs> No. But he's doing a lot of really fun things. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, what do you have? Yellowstone was just out? Yeah, Yellowstone, yeah. which yeah. kind of like really boosted him Back up. Back up. You know? Yeah, like he's that guy. I remember watching Waterworld back in the day, and mm. everyone was hating it. I was like, "This is pretty fucking epic." I don't yeah. know if I was the kid that was just like, "Action movie, anything." And I was like, "Action movie on water," and this guy's diving in with gills. I'm like, "Yeah, I kind of want to be this dude." Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. No, he does some really fun stuff, and he's a fun guy too. Yeah. Like I met him a couple of times. I oh, did you? Shook hands. I was like, "Oh man, yeah. I met Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. awesome." You know what I mean? I like uh, to think that I'm not someone that gets like, uh, 
Like, if there was a celebrity in here, I might be like, oh, I'll go and tell someone there's a celebrity. Now I will, that mm. you're an actor, and I'll be well, like, oh, Antonio. There I'll, it I'll, is. I'll, I'll, yeah. But uh, uh, there's still a part of you when you get excited about that, you know right. what I mean? Right. And you're like, oh, dang, I get to meet that person. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. But anyway, besides talking about Kevin Costner so much, let's jump back to how you got into all of this. Okay. Like, just, just for a second, because I think people are like, well content creator anyone gets in there and starts making it but how do I if they're interested in doing that so how did you get start in that world well um, I just like creating content in yeah. general um, I like videos and such but I mean yeah. uh, first thing I, I kind of started off yeah. I did this video where I was in Japan for a little while yeah uh, and I really enjoyed that area so I kind of made a little small yeah. little mini doc about it it's what like, made you in, want to do that about Japan uh, well, I really enjoyed Casey Neistat. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. inspired by yeah. some of his videos. Of course. I went to go visit one of my friends that was in New York, and he was just like, he was just all big time in me. Uh, he was all like, yo, man, like, yo, you need to really do some high level stuff. Check uh, out this guy right here. Uh, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And I was just like, whoa, this guy, Casey Neistat, I really like his so videos. So he big timed you, but it worked. It did. It did. You it say did. You- <laughs> I get inspired when people like really try to big time me. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. really? Uh, yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm going to see you in a couple of minutes. You know what I mean? No, no. He's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an awesome guy. But yeah, uh, yeah, no, he was just like, yo, we got this, uh, check this guy out. He does these cool videos. And I was like, I really want to do something like that on that level. So I did a really cool video. It was kind of inspired by it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Travel Portland heard about it. Yeah. And was like, yo, this is really cool. Why don't you do something like that similar for us? Mm -hmm. So they did something, you know, I did something like that for them. So how did they hear about it? Just like like someone you knew was there a connection or they were literally just like scrolling instagram like in a well <laughs> yeah there was somebody that invited me to an event okay and then they were there and i was like hey yeah i do some videos whatever and they were just like oh I'll just send it our way and i was just like all right i'll just send, yeah, it, send it whatever you know whatever yeah. and they yeah. were just like really excited about it and they were just like yo like we See, want you to do something for us i think that little piece there and mm. i think from i have uh, we've known each other for a long time, but like not knowing each other, but mm. we've sort of seen each other from afar yeah, or yeah, sort yeah. of thing. So one of the things, that even back in the day, because I think we were at either a Creative Mornings or you hosted an event um, at the same place where we hosted Creative Mornings at mm. the time. And your networking, I remember being like, God, I w- like this guy has the piece that I'm, I feel like I'm missing. Yeah. And I feel like you're really good at like, oh yeah, hey, oh yeah. I'm like, you're chatting to someone, but you're, there's this give take that... Uh, I think people who network do really well mm. and I have the like I'll give and I'm like terrible at asking right like sort of thing like where you've got, walked up to these people and going oh hey I just did something for Japan that you might be into yeah uh, here you go check it out yeah you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah and I yeah. think that piece is really quite amazing to be honest yeah well I, I think that really it was just me moving around a lot I moved yeah. around like quite a bit yeah like I'm originally from Detroit Oh, uh, wow. But I moved around in Detroit. You're like the third person that I know from Detroit. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, two of my really, really good mates. One lives in, uh, we both worked at Nintendo, uh, all three of us worked at Nintendo. Mm. And they were both from Detroit in two different spots in Detroit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, uh, yeah, they both ended up working at Nintendo. They're like best of friends now. Nice. I was the third wheel. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then it was just like, uh, now one's working for Nike and one's working for, I think, Riot Games down in uh Santa Monica or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So, yeah. yeah. Amazing. But anyway, cl- not about them. No, no. It's about it's you. It's fine. Yeah. But it's just amazing that, like, uh, I think maybe being the Australian, when you hear someone from so far, like, I'm like, Detroit? That's yeah, yeah. crazy <laughs> to me. To you, you're like, yeah, it's Detroit, probably. But I'm like, no, nah, that's crazy. It's so yeah, far yeah. away. It's so removed from me. Right. And right. knowing three people from there now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, we're taking over, man. It's <laughs> 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 You know what I mean? Back at it, yeah. you know? So, yeah, no, I moved around quite a bit over there um, and always going to different schools. Mm-hmm. And then eventually my dad moved out here to Seattle. Okay. Uh, so then I went to live with him. Yep. And basically moved around a little bit here over here as yep. well. And that was a big culture shock from Detroit, from the oh, inner cities. Oh, yeah. I was actually in the suburbs of Seattle. Yeah. So, you know, over in Bothell. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, over on the east side with yeah, me. Yeah, over you, there. Yeah, you left. Yeah. You left because you were too cool for that. And you're like, hang exactly. on, I have to get over this. Side. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I had to get used to a whole new yeah. culture and like, you oh, know, way of doing things or whatever. Yeah. So I was able to kind of like, all right, I have to adapt to like yeah. different situations. Yeah, so yeah. I think that kind of like helped what me. What age were you when you came across? Uh, I was pretty young. I was like in like junior high school. Oh, that's still pretty like 
I feel like if you, when you come over and you're like, oh, I'm five or six, like mm-hmm. the adapting's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you move somewhere, like I moved when I was 15 over to, uh, from Sydney to Perth, which is like the same distance, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there was like cultural things there. I can't imagine from Detroit to Bothell. Like yeah. I don't think people realize that Bothell's removed from Seattle and then a little bit right. more, right? Like, right. Yeah. 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 So I think it was, it was actually, it really helped me out with a lot of yeah. different things and just kind of like, Hey, yeah, what are you up to? You know, what are you doing? Like, I got to yeah. learn more information about you. Yeah. And yeah. Da, 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 kind of go on okay. So, so then that sort of started the networking. Correct. Thing. I always say like, I moved around a bunch when I was a kid. Mm. And so I'm really good at making instant friends. Like a lot of people be like, Oh, we're friends. And like, I've like, I'll share nearly anything. Yeah, yeah, and I'll be like, Oh yeah, sure. Here's this bit of information. And people are like, Whoa, I've never shared that. And I'm you're telling anyone. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So we make, I make these instant friends, but the longevity of keeping that friendship, I'll be like, never text someone like, uh, I'll be like, Oh, let's follow up. And I'll be like, yeah, I'm off doing this thing. Cause of like, I found something shiny on the road that I'm like, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I've worked on that over the years. That's fair. Yeah. That's Have you fair. found anything like that? Um, I try to stay in touch, you know yeah. what I mean, uh, with people. Um at least I, I think so. I don't know. Yeah. You would have to ask the uh, other ask people. them. They're yeah, like, yeah. fuck Antonio. You know he never I mean? gets back to us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like the first time hearing your voice in like five years. Right. Like yeah. Right now. Yeah. Well, see, I, I have. I feel like I'm a, a man of like. I kind of change quite often. I have like a, mm. a almost like a man of many talents, but mm. like. Oh, do also you like- personalities as well. Like yep. I'll be hanging out with certain people. Like I was like mm. the guy that in high school that hung out with like the jocks, the nerds, the this you know yeah. all these different people. I was like the connector, but they never really connected. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I just bounced around because I just was interested in other stuff. Like I, obviously, there's that cool kid mentality yeah, thing. Yeah. I was like, I want to be hanging out with those and the good looking girls and stuff right. like that. Yeah, yeah. And then also, I'd be like, yeah, but. I'm hanging out with the skaters because I'm talking skate stuff and oh, I really like drawing and art so I'm hanging out with these cats and so I just didn't care who I hung out with as long as they were decent I probably let the cool kids slide on shit but I probably shouldn't have right. like now I look back but mm. honestly like there was the kid the people that I was hanging out with were they're rad people anyway now like as adults anyway so yeah, it doesn't yeah. really matter but anyway uh, so you're in content creating Mm. And what what do you do now that you're content creating? Are you vlogging every day? Are you creating for other people? Um, so I create for other people. Is that the majority of your work? Um, probably about half of it. Okay. And then I also create for myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like a brands, our PR companies will reach out to me and be like, hey, we have this brand X we would like you to talk about. And yep. then I do that. Oh, cool. So yeah. do they reach out to you or do you have to pursue them? Um, well, I have a good relationship with a couple of few PR companies, yep. so they just like feed me stuff like yep. almost every month. You know, yeah. Every month, actually. Yeah, Just yeah. a bunch, a couple of times like a month. Wow. And they'll just feed me like content. And a lot of stuff, like I said, I don't really necessarily post on my profile. Okay. I'll just create it and then send it to them and then they oh, send it to Oh, the and brand. then they use it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so what are you, like what's your setup at home? Or what's your setup to do this? Like, uh, actually, let me rephrase that. What did you start out with, and then what is your setup now? Oh man! Because I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, I need um, like this whole bunch of gear to start. Yeah. Or where I started, like I had um, some mics, a shitty mixer, and mm. then I was like, hang on, I'm gonna get upgrade that when I get a chance. And then I had was doing it all on my iPhone, which I kind of wish I still did. Yeah. Now that I've seen you and your back to face front one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then having, so it's slowly that build up. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of people are like, oh, I've got to buy in. If I can't do that, then it's all over. It's not necessarily about the equipment. Yeah. It's yeah. all about like what the kind of story that you're telling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, and that's one of the things that I learned. Uh, I did this one, I was doing YouTube for like a long time. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't necessarily getting like the, the reception that I was looking for. Yep. And then I was looking at like videos on there. They were just like, you know, oh, I'm gonna throw gack on myself, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was just I'm like, throwing what? goobers everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, wait, wait, you yeah. guys like that? You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I feel the same way sometimes. You know, um, yeah. but it's really not about that. It's about like the story and also yeah. uh, talking to the audience. Yeah. I think that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, but I will tell you, yeah. just because I'm OG like that, oh, I'll yeah. tell you the 
stuff that I did start with. Yeah, yeah, uh, please do. I started with this uh, Kodak ZI8. I don't know if you're familiar with. No cameras. idea. This it's is a, the that camera you're looking at right now. Okay. Is the most I know about cameras. Oh, very good. Yeah, very the good. phone camera I have. Okay. Uh, the, is the most I know about like phone cameras. Well, that's a legit camera right there. Yeah, I, I did. Was I was looking at that. I was looking at. I bought one before this. Yeah. And I was like, oh, sweet. I got to record. And it only records for half an hour at a time. Okay. And then I had to, like, have an app that would restart it. So I'd be here trying to watch or mm. do the drawing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I would have to record it and I'd forget because I'm in the middle of the drawing. And I'd be like, ah. yeah. So yeah, then yeah. I was like, you know what? I sent it back and then I was like, research to find one that's records for longer so. yeah, yeah 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 so i mean i basically started off with like really basic stuff yeah and i would just show up i would be like the only person with this like you know a cell phone like camera yeah, yeah, a small yeah. one or whatever and then yeah. you know every you know all the other people would be like oh this guy's so plucky you yeah, know what yeah, i mean yeah. but then i would just kind of crank out a bunch of stuff yeah and then i would just like uh turn into like a small a really small camera yeah. you know a, better better it kept getting better and better and better and yeah, better yeah. but i really try to work on my craft just like the editing yeah and i think that that's kind of like part that's of what the phase i'm in right now yeah, so yeah, i yeah. feel you on that yeah yeah because yeah. it, it really even just figuring out like when people bring in text on stuff like that like like popping it up sliding it in mm -hmm. having the beze or yeah. the uh having it ease in or ease out like mm -hmm. people don't realize how much little bits of work go into that that one or two extra frames one way makes it feel shitty or right. makes it feel really smooth right yeah and i think the editing is like a really big key as well like yeah. i mean you don't have to spam people with all kinds of flashy i mean unless that's the actual message that you're trying to portray. Yeah. but like think about your favorite movie some of yeah. your favorite movies like some of them don't even have like ecstatic you know ec extra crazy like you know editing or whatever yeah, it's all yeah. about the story and yeah. how you connected with that so yeah I i'm important. i find it I'm in that space where I'm kind of like figuring out what my editing style is, but I also, at the same time, I'm leveling up my skills. So all the videos are a little bit the same, but a little bit different. Maybe I can tell they're different more than other people mm. because I'm in there and like, oh, I made this little change or I made this little adjustment. Yeah. So even like branding wise, when I'm like, I started out one way and I'm like, oh, that doesn't feel on point. And it's like, even through the first season, which is like 10 or 11 episodes, mm. like the the branding has changed and evolved because like, oh no I, I think I like this better or yeah, that yeah. and I'm sure as I go you'll be the first of the second season I'll be like oh, I think I'm going to adjust it a little bit here and there yeah, but yeah. it's always the evolving process for right? sure for yeah. sure for it's sure. each little step yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and so you are acting mm. you um, uh, you are content creating Correct. for yourself yes. and you there was another one modeling right yeah well I do some modeling yeah. you know what I mean like hand modeling or uh, <laughs> foot modeling have you got a foot fans account I do not I do not <laughs> but I did do hand modeling once did you really I did I did I have really long fingers big, fairly big hands <laughs> yeah. so I don't know is that a flex <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I've got these really big hands yo check this out <laughs> I got big hands check this out no no it is but it, you know actually I didn't realize I had big hands until I put it up to other people's hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were just like, yo, your hands are huge. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you know. Oh, oh thanks for these dinner plates that right. I carry around. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it actually makes me kind of awkward as well. So, you know, so there's that. Yeah, I've so. got really long, like, I think my height is six foot, but I have six foot four, four long arm width. Oh. And so I'm like got these gangly arms. Yeah, that's what it is. Which makes it great for pickleball. Yeah. But if I go surfing, I've got these like thin arms that just cut through a hot knife like mm. butter. I'm actually surprised you do pickleball. Oh, I love it. Pickleball is usually like shorter people are really good Oh, no, you, uh, you should. Have you played? I have. The smaller the actual ball is, the less I have actually, I can actively hit it. So like, you're like, hey, give me one of those massive balloon balls. I need a volleyball. I need <laughs> yeah. a basketball. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? When it gets to a baseball, like a softball maybe, yeah. when it gets to a baseball or a smaller ping pong. I uh, say so ping pong, I, I played a lot of, but mainly because it was the only sport at my, when I moved here that my family had in the winters and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, well, let's play that a bunch. And yeah. I got... I wouldn't say good. Right. Good for my garage and the people that I played with. Right. But take me outside of that and people would demolish me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but pickleball, I find way more enjoyable because it's fast and slow. Right. And anyone, like, I guarantee if you played it five times, you'd be like, oh, okay, I'm, I get this. Because it's kind of like chess versus, mm. and like, well, I love tennis. 
yeah. but I'm like, gah, right. gah, gah. Yeah, yeah. but I was also the person would try and like slice it. Right. So a lot of my pickleball, I'm like, I was just playing yesterday and I'm like spinning everything, oh, like wow. uh, slicing, spinning, trying, like it's part of the, the skateboard in me is trying to like get those, uh, the tricks that I was losing skateboarding, mm. I'm sort of trying to feel that sort of endorphin feel yeah. with like doing like a, a lobbing spin trick that flicks over someone's head and then uh-huh. bounces hard out. And I'm like, my brain goes, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, the modeling, you, you hand modeling. Yeah. And is that what covers the bases these days? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's pretty amazing. I know. It, I How mean, much free time do you have? Like, like what, uh, when you're content creating or doing all this stuff, are you, is it in batches? Are you like, well, actually I have all week free or are you like, I'm slogging it out from nine in the morning till nine at night? It depends. It, it, sometimes it's, it's like constant. It's like boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. You're yeah. turning out stuff and then you'll have breaks. Like I'll have like a month or so where I don't have very much, maybe just yeah. events to go to or yep. whatever. Okay. Um, but in, in, in even in that time when I have breaks, I, I need to start continue to do my own thing. Because yeah, yeah. You yeah. got to be kind of on the up and up, you know. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a, a, Sa- a Seattle socialite kind of person. Okay. You know I, what I, mean? I love it. Yeah. So you know, I kind of have to socialize be, this one around. Like hey, I want you, you know, to be like, hey guys, look at this journey. Sorry, exactly. guys, an idiot. But the concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I love the concept. I actually listened to a couple of. Oh, did podcasts. you really? I did. Oh. I did do it. I did a little research. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Making sure what you're stepping into. Exactly. I, <laughs> I haven't seen this guy in years. Exactly. I have no idea what he's up to. Yeah. I, honestly, I thought you were still in Oz. That's I yeah. I uh, I came back. I don't want to say secretively, but I just came back and uh, we th- my uh, we thought it was going to be such a a smooth sail in to back to how life was, but it really took a year for us to get our head mm. above water, like just of getting back into the things because the culture in Australia is different than the culture here but yeah. it was just a whole lot of things going on and we were just sort of like stressed and everything and I sort of didn't post stuff like oh I'm back here yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah. this I was just kind of like oh here's a drawing uh, yeah. like, and even people that like really good friends of mine that were here one of them just like texted are you back in America right now and I was like yeah I'm back like that's the shitty part of me being a long term friend right yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like yeah I'm, I'm back and I've been keeping my head down and he's like, oh man, well, let's connect, you know what I mean? And so I was like kind of quiet about it, not intentionally, but not also intentionally. I was just sort of like head in the, under the covers. That's and fair. Yeah, yeah That's but fair. anyway, uh, but yeah, you've done a little research. You've, uh, you've re- uh, listened to a couple of these. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think from your perspective as a creator? No, I thought it was good. Yeah? I, I think it's cool that you're adding, you know, you're obviously asking different set questions and then just kind of fill in the blanks or whatever yeah. i love fluid like conversation me too you know me I mean? too yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I love going on tangents as well like, and i thought it was really cool too because since i hadn't talked to you for a while yeah. time i was like oh man is it be good to kind of catch up yeah you know i mean? think so as well yeah, i felt yeah, the yeah. same thing i was like oh, you know what and i honestly the i was like he's always been so interesting to me like yeah. from watching from afar i'm like god this guy just keeps falling into cool and cool shit <laughs> and like i'm like t- Imagine his stories. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, all right. Which movie do you think you have seen the most? Ooh, that's a good question. I, I'm a big movie buff. Are you? So I've seen a lot of movies. Uh, uh, me lot. too, but I've got a feeling my answer is going to be way cornier than yours. So go for it. Um, maybe, uh, maybe The Lord of the Rings. Oh, really? I watched that's it. That's a long haul. It is. Like, what are you, like, <laughs> how many times? Those months where it's a lot of slow, you're just like, Lord of the Rings repeat. <laughs> well, I'm one of those kind of people, I will, I will put on certain movies, like, uh, I put on, um, uh, Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter, especially when I'm feeling sick. Oh, you Harry know what Potter's I mean? my wife and I, so we do it every Christmas and we lead up to Christmas where mm. everyone's like, oh, we, we watch Christmas movies as well, but... We know once as soon as Thanksgiving's done, yeah. they like got that until Christmas to watch all the Harry Potter movies. Ah, we just get nice. devastated when they bring another one out. We've got to like squeeze it into the... Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, that's what we love. We, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, no, I probably watched Lord of the Rings. I almost probably quoted as it goes along. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. You're just right in. And put it in Have a Have you got background. like a, a little metal helmet? You sit there with a yeah. blanket around you and you got a sword and you're like acting it out. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. I, I, love, I love those movies. They were really, really good. Yeah. I'd never heard about Lord of the Rings. Like yeah. uh, none of my friends and I were, well, they might have been. Mm. Um, 
but at the time I don't remember anyone being like oh I've read Lord of the Rings let's go watch it I just yeah. remember it coming out and being like how is this epic three hour movie and well I remember like they, there was one like a cartoon that came out in like maybe the 80s or something oh, like really? that oh really and I was like a little kid at that time but yeah. I remember watching it and it scared the life out of me just because yeah. it was just so creepy yeah looking, yeah you know? yeah had this weird animation and stuff yeah. and I was just like oh my god yeah. like what is this but so when they actually came out with the uh, the full movie later on I was just like yo this is fantastic yeah so, did you read the books I did not no I, I didn't, didn't. I, yeah. I've read the Harry Potter books mm, um, yeah yeah, me too. Yeah, and I, uh, I always say that I really wish they remake them, mm. but do it as like a, a Netflix series or something like that, or be on Max, right? Right. So it'd be uh, if they did that as a series, but the whole first book was like the, the one series, yeah, and the yeah, second yeah. series, and so yeah. you were able to get the breadth of all the little stories that happen in it as yeah. well. Well, not to get all nerdy, but I guess uh, <laughs> Amazon has their own uh, like. Uh, you, um, Lord of the Rings kind of They do. Did you did you watch that one? I watched it. Yeah. yeah it was all right. Yeah, I felt the same way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, Amazon, if you're listening, you know, <laughs> I love it. Don't worry about that. You know what I mean? Hire it's me for guy. your next project. Yeah, I was going to say, hang on. It was me that said it, Amazon. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> Antonio didn't say anything. I'd force him. <laughs> no, no, but there, it was it was all right. You know yeah. what I mean? So this is good enough. Yeah. Because I need some content in between. I do as well. Like, it, it was really good. I think it's really hard to put anything up against something that had, it was so epic and culturally changing right like, you know what i mean like when they came out they're like oh you can do these three hour long dramatic movies that hold your attention yeah and now you're saying you then bring this other part out and you're like well where's the like like the tension or the feel like you know what i mean mm. mind you some of it was really cool yeah but it's like i think you're trying when you're trying to put it up against that it's mm. hard to meet that yeah. meet that level i agree yeah. i agree yeah my corny movie is, I think I have seen, um, oh, it's an Adam Sandler one. Uh, oh, far out. I just lost, it. not not Daddy Daycare. It's um, one of the recent ones where it's like families getting together. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, I've watched this corny movie a mm. bunch because I, when I'm drawing, I just put a corny movie that I don't have any real emotions in it but I know there's little funny pieces to keep me like mm. going along so I'm playing it in my head mm. while I'm drawing so I might have seen that movie 50 times wow. and but a lot of it's just because I'm watching it and it's like I can turn it off at any time and I don't feel like oh wait for it wait yeah. for it you know what I mean I'm like alright see you later like it, it doesn't matter Yeah. but like if I'm listening to uh, when I'm doing a really big project, um, illustration project, I'll put like the Harry Potter audiobook series on. Ah, uh, yes. I, with, with Jim, Jim Dale? Yeah, with Jim Dale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah Which I heard the other guy, there's an English actor that does it better. Um, he's well, in the Sherlock Holmes movies. He's the bigger guy that Sherlock Holmes' brother in um, Sherlock Holmes' like Shadows, Secrets or whatever it is. Oh. Anyway, huh. that guy, he's really famous in England. Um but he apparently his version is really really good. Okay, fair. So, I don't know, but I've already bought the audiobooks with Jim Dale, so I'm like I'm not buying them again. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you've got enough money, J.K. You're good. Right. Yeah. yeah. For, for sure. For sure. 100. Yeah. Okay. Um, outside of work, what do you wish you did more of? Mm, um, High fiving people just to crush them with your massive hand. Right. There yeah? it is. There yeah. it is. You know, I'd like to travel more. To be quite mm. honest, I mean, traveling is kind of part of like what I do. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I mean, there was a period of time when I was traveling quite a bit. They used to so, call me International Antonio. That was, oh, that was I feel like name. that's a nickname you're trying to give yourself yeah. right now. Well, no. I, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. I didn't give. I, I try, when I was a kid, I tried to get Mad Matt happening because okay. I wanted to be like, oh, like Mad Max. <laughs> like this is Mad Matt. He's gonna do some crazy stuff, and everyone right. was like, uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. not happening. Yeah, no. Uh, people actually called me that for a while. I mean, partly because, like, uh, there was a period of time, especially, like, around college or whatever. I went mm. to school in England for a little yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, so, I was traveling around. Oh, over, over there, there, you can get to so many different countries in that, within right. there, so quickly, right? With the trains and quick flights and cheap right. flights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. cheap. So, I kind of got addicted to that kind of a, mm. you know, had some friends that were over there. Yeah. So, I was always, like, popping off all the time. Oh, that's awesome. So, you know. Where's yeah, your favorite? If I could jump on a plane with you right now which okay. would be so great if we were both rich enough to be like you know what fuck it let's do it yeah uh, where would we go um, well can I give you my top five places oh yeah oh fire it you got them packed right. and loaded yeah, all yeah. right international I, Antonio I, you've I already got to it I your podcast <laughs> I knew you were going to ask something like this <laughs> just putting that out there 
right. I'm too predictable. I'm going to have to do something crazy now. <laughs> exactly. Tip or drink over. Exactly. <laughs> so, one, uh, you may find some of this stuff basic. But, no, that's uh, okay. Uh, England, just yeah. because I love I've never been, so I, how can I say London. it's basic? Love it. Yeah. Love it out there. Um, uh, Tokyo. Oh, I, I've only ever stopped in the Tokyo airport, mm. and I think that people were messing with me, and I ordered some sort of dish, and they put a fish eye on top of it. What? And I really think they were messing with me, like, is he going to eat this fish eye or not? And this, like, it was like, I was like, can I get this rice and that, and like this, and they're like, put it, and then they, they're like, just rice. And a fish eye I have on top. I've never seen that no, before. No, but never I think I, I like. I would love it if they were fucking with me. I think they <laughs> were. Yeah, <laughs> I love. I would love it. Like I didn't eat the fish eye. Right, like right, I was just right. like everything ate around it. But, okay. All right. Yeah. But anyway, so you got Tokyo. Uh. So yeah. Um. Istanbul. Oh, Istanbul. Love it. Wow. Love it out there. What made you love that about there? Well, I mean, I like. I like places where there's a lot of mixture of cultures. Yeah, oh, yeah, me you too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, obviously you have like, you know, Istanbul kind of like separates the east and west kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And it's just such an interesting blend yeah. of culture there. Um, the food there is, is fantastic. Yep, yep. Um, so, yeah. No, Are I, you a big foodie in general? I kind of am. Well, okay. I like to go, I like to travel to places and understand the culture through food. Yep. You know what I mean? Because yeah. Then you you kind of have the. Are you trying to get it like an Anthony Bourdain show right now? Yeah, I you're am. You're pitching everything. I am. <laughs> Amazon, if you're listening. If, if you're <laughs> listening, I will go around and eat food. I'll, I will eat anywhere, any food. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, yeah. I feel like you can you can understand because everybody has like a form of like a burrito or something like that. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Met, um, bread and meat, you know, like a burrito or like a panoshki or, yeah. you know, what yeah, I mean? yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it is, you know, they all have that. And it's, yeah, like and Australia has a meat pie, you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. they're rudimentary. They're like, hey, it's, it's some sort of bread thing and some exactly. mystery meat. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? They have so many different things. So um, I, I like kind of like understanding cultures okay. that way. So we've got Istanbul. What's the next? Uh, um, are these five as in top to bottom or just yeah. ran, like five? This no is random. What? Okay. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, it could be anything at any time, okay. you know. And then plus, I got more stuff to, I got oh. more things to do. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, Budapest. Oh, okay. Budapest. Is, is that from the favorite. Budapest Grand Hotel? Um, like, well, I, I like that movie yeah, too. Yeah, actually, I I will say those movies I usually like aesthetically, mm. but I think sometimes I'm like, this is a little bit too like it's like a like a. Here I am saying this. I'm wearing odd shoes right now as a deliberate choice okay. and op shop pants. So it's when someone is trying to be so hipster, they've got every hipster thing on. So when you're watching the movie, they're like, everything I can do that's cool, yeah. I'm doing in the movie. And yeah, it's yeah. almost like it's it's too much with the storyline. But the, right. aesthetically, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I mean, Wes Anderson is just, oh, he's outstanding. Yeah, Wes Anderson, if you're listening, uh, and turning wants a gig in there, so... Wes, come on! Like I can, I can do symmetry. I know all about it. You know what I mean? Did you get into the trend for creators when you did the? Ho- the um, I did. Oh, did you? I did, and it hit. Oh, did it? Yeah. Dang it! it I'm, I don't know about doing trends. I feel like I would feel. I don't. I don't never feel this about anyone else. Mm-hmm. It's only about me. I'm like, Matt, you're corny if you do this trend. Right. No, and normally I'm like that, mm-hmm. but it's only when something kind of speaks to me. You know what mm. I mean? And I was like, I. He, Wes Anderson is one of my top five, yeah, like, yeah. you know, directors. Yeah. So I was just like, this speaks to me. Did I, you I watch Asteroid? Oh. I haven't. Oh, I haven't Asteroid yet. City? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go see it. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah. But I've just, just looking at it, I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. It's yeah. almost like if I could wear an outfit like that, like, I don't even know where it is. It's just the color palettes and stuff. Like, if I could wear an outfit, I'd be like, that is so good. You yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. For sure. So, we got... Uh, we got... Um, Budapest, and now Budapest, the last one. Uh, Budapest, uh, Istanbul, we have... Um, uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. England. Um, England, and Sydney. Sydney. I feel you're just saying that to buff my... Uh, no, no, I'm serious. Oh, man. really? Have, I love you've it. been? I have. Oh. I have. So... Did you go anywhere else other than Sydney? I did. Where'd you go? I, I traveled up the coast, up oh. to the Gold Coast. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So but I went to Sydney, Byron Bay. So Sydney was your yeah. love? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, is yeah. it because it's more of a bustling city? Well, like, yeah. I, I really yeah. like cities. Yeah, you know me what too. I, mean? I, I haven't been to Melbourne. I wanted, I wanted to go Melbourne's there. good. It's kind of like the Seattle of Australia. Mm. I feel uh, anyone I tell that goes, if you are living in America or somewhere like Canada or somewhere that is... A bit more northern, so you might not 
enjoy this as much if you're in California or Florida or whatever because they're a bit like tropical and hot as well. Mm. But if you're going to go there, go and do something that's so different. So like you, when you went up to the Gold Coast, that's great. Mm. But if you go up to Cairns, you go up to Townsville, you go sit the magnetic islands and stuff and you're seeing an island where you're like, it's like when I see pictures of Greece and I'm like, oh dang, right. I want to go to Greece because look at this scenery it's nothing that i've seen before right yeah and even now like as an australian well any one of me and my friends we see snow mm. we see squirrels mm. we see raccoons mm. we are like little kids yeah. we'll be like oh that like that dog off um up yeah, squirrel? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah there's another one like there might be 50 of them we'll be like squirrel 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 right or like raccoon oh my gosh it's snowing like yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just all about it because yeah. it's something that's different and i think americans should enjoy that about australia like obviously having a Sydney is so beautiful and right on the water yeah. and you get all that but you go up north and you're just like this is just a different world like getting over to Darwin or something like that mm. you're going to have the best time yeah no I thought, oh, pretty much all of Australia I wanted to spend more time there yeah, I yeah. think the only reason why I say Sydney is because I spent the most time there mm-hmm. I was uh, uh, over in King's Cross mm-hmm. I spent oh, a lot yeah. of time there I was over there oh. drinking oh, goon all yeah. day you know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Yes. I don't hear that in this yes. country. Yeah. So for people who are listening who aren't playing this game at home, goon is basically wine in a bag. Yes. And everybody in Australia like knows what a goon bag is. So you basically drink it, you blow it back up, and you sleep on it as a pillow. Yeah, yeah. And you used to have these, like, uh, you'd just go to a party because they would be cheap. Like, I think back in the day it'd be, like, $13 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tastes like piss to it me did, yeah. yeah it's not great but it, it gets you drunk exactly and then you have a good time yeah yeah, yeah for sure yeah. so i was doing all that kind of stuff it's been there for like about a week oh, or yeah. so and then just basically travel all the way up or whatever wow. i love the gold coast as well yeah gold you know. coast is beautiful it's very much the um like the the young person's party right central yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i did my first time uh i surfing oh did up you there sucked oh. at it terrible <laughs> actually horrendous when i went back to australia lived for three years mm. i was like i'm getting back into surfing i'm gonna love it so i was going quite regularly i think for the first five times i stood up once because uh. i was so unfit like you've got to have like flexible hips you got to have all this and i was like falling off and everyone like i'd be out there with people i know and i'd be like what the fuck has america done to you and i'd be like I'm it is so crap. crazy like you have to be so fit people are so fit out there uh, yeah, like, no. i saw kids with like abs, six pack abs <laughs> like i'm like what is going on I, I was paddling out one time and i had this big long board that keeps you buoyant and this like he was 11 and he has this board that's short like shorter than uh way shorter than mine but even for him, it's called a short board, right? So yeah. it's maybe he's maybe four foot five, and this is maybe a five foot board. Okay. But he's paddling it. He's just mowing past me as if he's like a speedboat, oh, and I'm man. like a tugboat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just was like, hang on, I'm just gonna go in for a little bit and take a breather, and you get on me there. Oh man, it's it's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I usually typically am fairly uh, athletic. Yeah. But yeah, surfing absolutely. It's terrible. a different. It's a really different beast because mm. even. Once you catch the wave, you got to know when to stand up. Right. you got to know how to use that rail mm. and when to use the fins and how to lean up your board to take on that wave. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a perfect example. So at that time, I was all surfing. I was like, I hadn't been surfing much, so I was trying not to surf bigger waves. So, and I'm talking little waves that are maybe like uh, my hip height, right? And I'm like, I'll just surf those. And, you know, there just wasn't enough power, even though I was on this like bigger board. And my stepdad basically goes, Matt, stop being a dick get out the back and get a bigger wave and Mm. i was like oh god i don't want to get slammed i'm like that so i was like i paddled out the back wave comes in i catch it i stand up and it gives me more time more power i and i get the best wave that i had the whole time i was there Mm. and like just knowing that like because i'd surfed so long before that no, your body knowing how to do stuff with that wave right. and your sort of the timing of just a big versus small and I'm not talking big like uh, Jamie O'Brien double head over yeah, pipeline yeah. I'm talking big where oh that might have been up to my shoulder yeah. rather than um, at my hip but it just gives you like so much more time but just knowing those little things you have to make all these adjustments where if you've got a basketball you're like oh I have to get this and I can try and shoot it as many times as I want into that hoop I don't need to wait for a wave right. you get what I mean yeah, there's yeah, all these yeah. variables that yes. happen to it so. yeah 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 yeah. So. but anyway so travelling is the thing that you would do um, more. more of yeah 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 okay yeah. interesting well uh, 
yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I just, I just love culture. Yeah, you know I do I mean? as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I really wish the world was like if you could get the world in like a, a little jar, and everyone just got shaken up, mm-hmm. and every, wherever you landed, you're like, that's where you are now. Right. Like, yeah. let's figure it out. Yeah. And I think the world would be a way better place because yeah. everyone would be like, okay, I, like there might be. A couple of weeks where people are like, oh, dang it, I'm around here, how do I figure it out? And then everyone's like, oh, all right, well, we're here, let's go, figure right. it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm all for that. All right. When you visit the zoo, what animal are you most excited to see? Ooh. You know, I haven't been to the zoo in a long time. I have a little bit of a, uh, I don't want to say love-hate relationship, but I, I struggle with zoos when I like walk into them and I'm like, this is not enough space for that animal because mm. they're usually in the middle of, middle of a city. Yeah. But also they do so much good for animals and they've helped reproduce animals that were on the verge of extinction yeah. and put them back into wildlife. Like There's certain frogs that I think in Australia they were able to, they just had this pair that would breed. Mm. And so they were able to put them back in the Amazon forest or something? I did hear... You were talking about frogs. Oh, on the, oh you, <laughs> <laughs> So that guy had never touched a frog in his favorite animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I've never touched an, uh, an elephant, and that's one of my favorite animals. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess that makes sense. But the frogs are so accessible. Right, That's yeah. what blew my mind. It's like, you could just go anywhere and go, bink, yeah, touch a frog. Yeah, I think that that's would be my thing. Any animal that you can actually, like, kind of touch or whatever, yeah. that would allow you to touch it. No, the, I think... <laughs> <laughs> you get a touch of jaguar and you're like, hey, this, like is a, this is a mistake. It's a bad idea. You know what I mean? <laughs> but any animal, I think you would li- they would allow you to touch it or whatever. Okay. And the animal So you cool don't have... Uh, so if you go to the zoo, let's say you and I go to Woodland Park Zoo, which mm. is just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I say, you have. what are we going to first? And you go to... So that's the thing. I haven't <laughs> been to the zoo like, since I was a child. No way. I have not been there. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. That is... Crazy. Now that I think about it, yeah, the Woodland Zoo is like right over there. Uh, I just if I go. lived as close as you to that zoo, yeah. every person that works there would know my name. I live on Aurora, okay? There's uh, a lot of wild animals <laughs> all over there too. So <laughs> I try to stay away from them. For those ones, I um, used to go to the School of Visual Concepts, which used to be right yeah, on yeah, Nanina. I know, yeah. yeah, I know that one. Yeah, so back in the old building that yeah, they were yeah, in. Yep. Yeah. So one time I was pulling into. Uh, into their car park and there was a person walking by and I was like oh I'll, I'll wait and the, like they'll just crossing and I like wave them across and, yeah. then, and then I was like okay I'll get on my phone and just say hey I'm here to my wife or whatever the car door opens and a big waft of stale smoke comes in I'm like well, what's going on yeah. and they're like well uh, they sort of start telling me these prices and I'm like what and I was like oh no sorry I was letting you pass and then we have this moment where she's like oh my gosh, you were being nice to me. And then uh, also now embarrassed that that's doing that. And then I'm embarrassed for her. And I'm like, oh, oh no. Like, And I was just like, hey, just felt so terrible in this situation. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, you're only going to get that when you're over in those areas. In certain areas. Yeah, yeah. 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 But anyway. <laughs> I don't know if your listeners are going to know what we're talking about. No, no, I don't either. Yeah. But I feel like every city has that sort of True. stuff going on. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> What's a trait of yours that you're most proud of? Ooh, I think, um, I think, uh, see, I have, it's interesting, and this is kind of like what we kind of talked about yeah. before, I have an ego, but mm-hmm. I try to use it in a positive manner, Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, I feel you, my ego is my best friend and my worst enemy, totally at the same time. Right, Yeah. and so um, when people say that I can't do something, oh. a lot of times it, I'm like, alright, you know what I mean? I kind of wish... Something. D- this sounds really odd. And I was thinking about this the other day. I kind of wish I had more people around me that were not um, championing me on. Mm. They would be like, no, this sucks. Yeah, You're yeah, going to yeah. be like, this, oh, all right, let's right. fucking go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play pickleball and I'll be down 9-1. Yeah. And, and they'll be like, all right, we've got this game in the van. I'm like, all right, here we go. Yeah. And I, like, I will never give up the fight. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So for me, when I say my ego is the worst thing. Yeah. I have to be the negative thing that then helps fuel me, which yeah. is a terrible circle to sort of be in. Yeah. So how does that work for you? It's like if someone's telling you, who has told you 
this is not going to work. Well, a lot of people, to be quite really? honest. Yeah. Like, a lot like who? Like what? Uh, just like, even... like a random person, like walking down the street. Hey, Antonio. You suck. <laughs> International turn <tenor. laughs> You're not going to make it. But, uh, you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, just even from a young age, like, mm. people have been like, hey, you can't do that. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like uh, from the inner cities of Detroit, yeah. like certain things like oh. you can't you can't do. You know I, what I mean? I feel you because I've been drawing for as long as I can remember. Yeah. And I remember people saying like, well, you are great, mm-hmm. but you're never going to make money doing that. Right. And so I never pursued it. Yeah. And I'm, I really remember back in the day, we're like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. If I can't do this, and I like, that's how I got into design and all that sort of stuff because I have to make money doing something else. Yeah. But I didn't know that I could have pursued illustration. Right to do stuff you know what I mean mm-hmm. um, so I had no idea yeah. because I just got told you couldn't do it Yeah. so I feel you on that do you feel that once you moved to like Bothell and suburbia that expanded or was that still happening um, is that a race based thing is that a society based thing like being in a in Detroit and I don't know what part of Detroit you were in but like yeah. is that a more improvised area or well some of that you know yeah. what I mean not not financially not yeah. really having a lot of money you yeah. know um, basically when I moved over to um, you know Bothell like I was like one of the poorest kids you know mm. I was you know on like welfare for a while yeah 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 yeah, yeah. my mum was on the Australian version of welfare mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah so Continue. So, you know, I never went to a lot of different things. Plus, you mm-hmm. know, also race thing at, the, at that time. Like, yeah. It wasn't, you know, that area was a, is a lot different than it is now, you know, yeah, yeah. like 20, 20 years ago. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, uh, it's it's more of... Um, like, how many black people were around there? Like um, at, at that time, I was probably in my class, there was probably like three. Oh, uh, yeah. Three black kids. I was, I was surprised you, you said three, I mean? to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. wasn't really that much. You yeah. know what I mean? And like, I just Oh, especially didn't... coming from Detroit, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, and, and when I moved out here, I have two other sisters. Yeah. Um, when I moved out here, it was just basically me by myself. Oh, wow. So, I, I have to figure it out. Like, you know, and my yeah. dad's like a full-time, you know, trying to be mom, dad, you yeah. know, basically taking care of me and everything. Like, he yeah. has to go to work. So, it was basically my decision to figure out whatever I'm going to do, you know? And yeah, yeah. So, I just have to just make it work you know so then who's telling you like so once you get to bothell mm. other than uh like society sort of saying like i feel like society says most people can't make it you know what i mean mm-hmm. so does that self-dialogue sort of making you say that stuff or like what's making you either push past that but also who's actually saying it like uh, to that i can that you can't do it um, and even now like who's saying it to you you know, I think it's, um, you know, it's weird. And mm-hmm. I feel like I should be on the couch right now. Just like, you know, it all <laughs> let's started. Get, let's get a couple of chairs, kick some of these people yeah. off. Let's, <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. get, let's dig in. But, you know, I think it, it's weird because there, I mean, there's a lot of, I feel like a lot of people don't really, I'll, I'll do some come ups. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And people won't really expect it. You mm. know what I mean? And they're like, what? Like you? Like how did, ah. how did you do that? You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, like, which is almost like the, like the, it's like a, not a backhand comment, but it's like definitely, it almost knocks you down more yeah, yeah. than when you're like, I did it, and yeah. you're not praising me for it. Like, you're not even praising, not being like, hey, well done, like, enjoying it with me. You're yeah. like, sort of like, oh, okay, well, if you can do it, uh, like, like, I expected yeah, it from someone else. It's yeah. weird, because I mean, I'm not like, I'm, you know. Uh, you know, I'm not like super fit, you know what I mean? Model, you know, doing this or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they're just like, what? Like, but they didn't see your big I'm, hands. They didn't notice yeah, them. <laughs> Those motherfuckers. <laughs> I get manicures all the time. You know what I mean? Dude, I was like, stressing about it because like, I was just away at a weekend and my nails are super low, uh, for a whole week and I yeah. haven't trimmed them. And I was like, please don't no, notice my nails. Yeah. I haven't trimmed them up. No, you're good. You're good. I've got them under the table so you can't see them. There it they're is. just cutting out my legs. It's all right. There it is. There it is. But I mean, like, even like, acting or whatever yeah. I, I think because for the most part i don't really necessarily i'm not forthcoming with a lot of things that i do mm. so they don't really expect it you know what i mean okay. and i don't really like do you think that's where the surprise comes from I rather some than of it yeah but i think also some people um maybe they're just they don't really they don't really see the vision you know yeah yeah not most people don't do certain things that i do oh, i do things differently 
You know what I mean? You and me are pedaling in the same boat, going the same direction. Yeah. And just away from everybody else. Yeah. yeah. And they're just like, no, like normal people don't do that. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm, but I do. Yeah. It's Literally, weird. so every time I do one of these podcasts, right, mm. I get these butterflies in my belly the night before and just before I leave. Mm. And I say to myself, if you want to do something bigger than everyone else, you have to do something different than everyone else. Right. And so I was walking in this door, literally right there, and I said to myself, God, here you go again. You're putting yourself in a situation where you don't, this is not comfortable to you. Like, right. um, you haven't caught up with this dude in a long time. Right. Uh, all that sort of stuff. I'm like, but this is how, this is what you do. You've got to be uncomfortable to grow sort of exactly thing. yeah yeah like for instance um like i just came back from that kevin costner movie yeah yeah, yeah. I, we filmed it in utah oh wow yeah oh, and cool. like i was just like okay i don't know i've never been to utah before oh you know yeah what i mean so i was like yeah. and it's in a small town in utah yeah and i was like all right uh, are there people <laughs> with my skin color there you know what i mean like what yeah. you know i had no idea yeah, what yeah. was going on how many if i was going to meet people yeah. whatever whatever and i took the chance and i was just yeah. like all right i'm doing it you how know was it I mean? then and it was really awesome it was yeah. really fun yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but you know what i mean just different things like that like yeah just well i would don't. never have to to deal with that for the most part you right. know what i mean yeah, yeah so yeah. i don't i never go into many situations like coming in here and everything oh no one i might be the odd one out i'm like yeah, yeah. I'm making myself the odd one out. Like I could choose not to wear odd shoes or I could choose right. not to do this. Yeah. Well, you don't get that choice in many situations. Right. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a, I think that's an even bigger step to do that. Well, this is a, see, it's funny that you're saying, you know, the odd one out. I've, I feel like I've been the odd one out a lot of times oh, for most of my life. Me like, too. One thing a lot of people don't know this. I'm telling mm. people, a lot of people don't know this. Okay. I actually didn't have any front teeth. Until I was like maybe 19? No, no, Hang no. Uh, 17. Is that like the guy off um, Stranger, Stranger Things? Things? No, I oh. actually had an extra. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Well, at I, least you knew what I was right, going for. I know, I knew yeah, what you were talking yeah. about. No, I actually had an extra set of teeth. <laughs> you had no teeth, but you had an extra set yeah. of teeth. So my teeth were actually coming, when they were coming down, they were like facing each other. They were fighting each other. They're like, yeah. I want in first. Exactly. Yeah, okay. And so they never dropped down. So, like, all of my life I heard, like, oh, you know, Mike Tyson, you know, Kevin's <laughs> all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. <laughs> okay, yeah. The whole shit, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So I, I feel bad because like, I probably would have been that kid, yeah, like, probably, being a smart ass. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But it was always, like, something, you yeah. know what I mean? And so I was always comfortable in that in some ways. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of just go against the grain every now yeah. and then. Yeah, I know? feel like uh, I had all my teeth except for the one time I had a poo tooth and yeah. broke it on a chocolate Easter egg and then three weeks before my wedding had to get a fake one put in. Mm. Uh, but anyway, the I've always felt odd, like the odd person out in everything. So yeah. as a skateboarder, yeah. I'm, even though I would like, I've got skateboard tattoos, I, I still flick through, like I love skateboarding so much. I think yeah. it's such an amazing thing. Yeah. Even then, when I'm with all my skate people that I know, I feel like I'm the person outside of it. Wow. When I'm with the illustrator people that I know, I feel like I'm the one outside of that group. Wow. Even though they're, like no one's making me feel that yeah. way, it's how I feel. That's interesting. And I'd be like, um, I was at a creator thing in Optimistic Optimism Brewery in yeah. uh, Cap Hill, I think, mm -hmm. and uh, for the creator movement. And I felt like, I was like, oh, we're all creators here. And I was like, I feel like the odd one out there. Like yeah. everyone, even though I'm in a circle like pickleball, yeah, I'm definitely the odd one out there. Like mm -hmm. you know, I'm wearing odd shoes there. I play differently than everyone else. Mm -hmm. but, but I feel like the, the odd person out. So even I, I feel that, like I, just, I don't know if that's a natural thing or me putting myself in that situation right. or if it's just the, like the way I grew up of being yeah. odd odd out and then going oh but you're still odd out yeah, i don't yeah. know so yeah yeah so i mean it kind of goes into what yeah. you were saying about like you've been you were friends with all these different people yeah 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 but maybe you didn't necessarily have like a click by yourself so yeah you always felt like kind of odd yeah and a lot of different things you know yeah. what i mean and that's that's how you and i are similar yeah like, i think so yeah, yeah. except for i have tiny hands and well, you have you massive go. hands yeah. <laughs> not saying anything people right okay exactly. size your, doesn't matter i can still hold a coffee cup get your mind not out well <laughs> i have to use two hands <laughs> all right um 
What is your comfort food? Ooh. Comfort food, huh? That's a good question. I have... Mmm... I really enjoy, like, a good sushi meal. Like, a, a Japanese meal. Oh. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that kind of has Just that. without an egg and uh, just rice. Right. I mean, not an egg, an eye, a fish eyeball. Yeah, no, no, no fish eyes. Yeah, you okay. know? Actually, one of my friends uh, was like, hey, yeah, you should eat this... Uh, fish head and i was like no no, no that, that's thing. my limit i yeah, found yeah. it yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right there i'm good you know what I mean? <laughs> tail <laughs> body fish head no yeah, yeah 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 fair enough no but um just anything like um that has that like if it feels like japan mm. just because i love that culture you know what yeah I mean? what made you love that culture because you said you went to their like to record and do that stuff earlier so yeah it's weird like are you an anime fan i am okay i am a big anime fan there is uh my two other friends, they just from Detroit, mm. both black. Yeah. They love anime. Well, there it is. So yeah. I, I, what I don't, uh, well, I've got heaps of other friends that are really into anime as well. Yeah. But it just blows me away that there's like a, because they both, they went to Tokyo. They both loved it. Like yeah. That, with you three guys, maybe it's just like I'm attracted to that type of person. Yeah. Um, and so... But it's just amazing that you guys have got so many. I should line you guys up at some point just to like mi- like connect because right, I right. feel like you guys would be like, oh yeah, let's talk anime because yeah, they were yeah. just at like uh, one of the cons about anime, not like a con as in like a, a like a dream con or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. Like, a, and they were at an Sakura anime. Con? No, that one's this one when they go somewhere else. Um, but they all one of them was just there for it or something. I don't know. I paid little attention to what con it was, but okay. they were there for it and enjoying it. Um, Oh, just to let you know, real quick, I am fighting the urge not to do the accent that you're... Oh, please do it. Please. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I can't do any accent, and I do this one called Johnny SoCal for my kids. Okay. And it's this um, surf bum from California. Yeah. Uh, and it's the only one I can do, but I do it terribly. Yeah. And so, like, it's like this hybrid of this Australian American accent but it's terrible yeah. anytime you want to jump into an Australian accent you're never going to offend me <laughs> I don't know how anyone could really offend me at yeah. this point in my life yeah yeah like I think I say enough shitty things to myself in my head that I'm like yeah good I said that this morning getting out of bed yeah like no I have a, I have this problem I've always had this well I have I pick up accents really easy oh do you and I don't really realize that I'm actually doing it oh so you, you might I mean? slip into an Australian accent exactly. and you're like g'day mate oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> throw I'm throwing a shrimp on the main I'm like where did you come from right now <laughs> so, how are you going now? <laughs> 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 that might be the worst one I've heard. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe voiceover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not going to be a good thing. But, <laughs> but the thing is, I actually, I have, I don't know, for some reason, like I was the kid in Detroit because we get a lot of like a BC, um, oh, like yeah. a BBC kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, I listened to like all the British shows. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know, the, the seven-year-old kid just yeah. being like, hello, what, hello what's going Gov, on? Now yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> you know, <I'm> straight <laughs> up like, oh, how's it going, mate? I, <laughs> <laughs> Oi, cuz, get over here, mate. You know? like, let's get a penny over here, mate. You yeah. know what I mean? All that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, uh, that would yeah. be really funny if you were going to school as a seven year old. Yeah. And just like, you're doing nothing but a British accent. Just for a the while. British accent. You know what I mean? Like, that was, that, that, was my, that was my whole thing. You know how there's always like rumors about where kids are from and like that when you're at school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine if they're like, oh, yeah, that guy grew up in England. And, yeah, like, yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's like, oh, he kind of related to the Queen. Like, right. you're rattling all this stuff and you're like, but no, you're just watching BBC too. Yeah. Much. That was it. That was it, man. That was the kid, like at home watching BBC. Have you heard of the um, the restaurant in Bellevue that's uh, Mexican and Japanese uh, fusion? No. I, so I don't. I always feel like I'm saying this wrong, and it sounds like I'm being uh, really bad. But it's like Japanese, like as in jalapeno and ni, uh, Japanese. So it's just oh, like Japanese. Oh, Happiness, is that yeah, it? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So my wife has been there, and then someone else was telling me the other day. Yeah. But they were saying, if you love Japanese food, yeah. you try, have you been there? I have been there. Oh, yeah. I have been there. I, You know, typically I prefer really traditional oh, Japanese. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a couple of places that I usually go. Yeah. Uh, some of my some of the people that I know, they're really interested in that. Oh, yeah. So, uh, but I prefer, like, you traditional. Like, yeah, you just get me straight on it, like... You go to QFC and yeah. you can like, only give me the sushi from QFC because yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. authentic. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm really pro- I like uh, proper like 
you know, Mexican dishes. Uh, like, I don't okay. like the crispy tacos, you know what uh, I mean? okay. I, I mean, I, I, well, I mean, I'll eat it. You I'll eat it. it. Yeah, yeah. You put I'm, one in front of yeah. my face. Like, I'm not gonna be like, no. <laughs> you don't get this beautiful belly like I do from being that picky. You <laughs> exactly. <know? laughs> exactly. But I like to go to really traditional places. Oh, okay. That kind of like resembles like where where it's from. from. Oh, yeah, 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 I could see that. Yeah. There's a well, you probably get a lot of this stuff over here, but there's just a, I think it's a Turkish grocery market that opened up just in Houghton near my house. Mm. I haven't been in it yet, but I was like, yes, like there's something else that's here other than like. Um, like uh, like a QFC or something like that. So it was pretty cool. I haven't been in there, but I was like just stoked that it was something around there. Mm-hmm. But anyway, mm-hmm. not that it's here nor there with that. Yeah. Um, what is something that you have overcome that makes you proud? Um, Finding gloves that fit those big hands. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that callback, people are getting so annoyed. Like uh, fucking with the gloves and the big hands. Really, just... Uh, man, something that I've overcome... I feel like I've overcome a lot. Just really being shy. I grew up really shy. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Well, I, I am assuming because your front teeth not coming in until a later stage. Yeah. That you're like, you know what? I've had to do with a lot and I might yeah. hold back from participating. No, a bit. I was really shy. Uh, uh, like even even when I graduated, I was kind of like, um, mm, maybe it, maybe it kind of changed when I was like maybe 18, 19 okay. or whatever. And I was just like, you know, nobody's going to do it if you don't do it oh wow so you know what do you what think mean? gave you that change this is the part that I'm really interested in because I grew up in a really poor place uh, and uh, there's some people that I know back in the day that they had the same dreams and aspirations that I did mm. but they never executed on them right and I don't know what the difference of me versus them was and I'm mm. sure there's some of it that is um, the people that grew up around you, part yeah. of your personality and all that sort of stuff. But what what point and when you're 18, you're like, hey, you know what? I have to do this myself. I have to do it. Like, yeah. Was it watching a show? Was it something your dad said? Or I think, yeah, it was actually, I can picture one time in my life. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, just even that, just as, actually when I was in Detroit. Oh, okay. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And like, you know, in my block, like there was a lot of kids that were really picking on me. You know yeah. what I mean? And I was a, I was a crier, you uh, know what I mean. I always both. like just yeah. like oh, you know, all the time. And then I was dehydrated from crying so much. Exactly. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> I need electric lights right now just to make up for all that crying I did back then. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I was just like one time. I would, and it seems like a something that would be on an anime or something like yeah. that. I, but I was just like. Why am I doing this? Like, yeah. I have to, I gotta toughen up. In Did you just ways, go like you know? tough, strengthen, and suck all your tears <laughs> back in? That's something that anime would do. <laughs> really, it was a lot of that. Like, yeah. And I was just like, I was just so angry that I was yeah. that kind of person, you know? Mm. And I was just like, I can't do that. Did you have any hard time emotionally regulating? Mm. So I felt like when I was younger, I was a bit of a a sad sack or cry like people would tease me or whatever yeah. when I was a kid I was super skinny I was like a a lollipop I had a skinny body but I had this massive head yeah and people would tease me about all that sort of stuff and then um, I'd be upset or walking home from the bus crying or something like that uh, but then as I sort of got older I sort of got this like I had all these really great friends but I as I got past that I sort of had this like sort of chip on my sort of shoulder a little bit where to catch up with my friends who I thought were cooler and better I would like lie about stuff or I'd be uh, like when I was skateboarding I would like focus or snap my skateboards got angry even though I was like yeah okay you didn't get that kick flip in like two shots yeah 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 you're just acting now I look back you're just acting out because you're like trying to show that you uh, you thought you could do it you know what I mean yeah 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 so did you have any of that like or did you just go from non-crying to being awesome and just keep going forward? Well, I think a lot of it, uh, I end up like losing weight in high school. Okay. Um, I like cut my hair. I used to have like this big fro and oh, like all yeah. kinds of crazy stuff. And yeah, then yeah, I just yeah. cut it, you yeah. know what I mean? And then I was more traditional, mm. you know what I mean? Around um, the end of high school, like my senior year, I was... Uh, Maybe from like junior to senior year, I started getting some, some money, some kind mm. of... My dad was always like, you know, 
here, here's like $2, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, okay, I'm broke. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I so, feel that. Yeah. Uh, so eventually I kind of like slimmed up whatever. And then it was interesting because all those people that like didn't like me before, all of a sudden they liked me. Mm. And I was, because I had that look and yeah. I was just like, wait a minute, this is the same people that like mm. hated on me and did all this stuff. And then after that, I was like, none of this matters. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter anymore. You know what I mean? I do that now still. Like so. as 42 year old man, I mm. look around, I'm like, no one cares. Yeah. No, like a lot of these people don't care. Like they're not going to worry. Oh, even if I tripped over, spilled a coffee, they all filmed it. It went viral. Yeah. Most people are not going to go like, oh, you're that person. They're just going to be like, it, even like, and obviously unless you're like Taylor Swift something. It's, no one is going to care enough. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like unless you do something horrendous. But right. That stuff. So I try and think of that all the time. Like when I'm setting this stuff up and I'm like banging around, I'm like, okay, yeah. no one really cares. Yeah. No one really cares. Yeah. Most people just care about themselves. Yeah. And this including me, myself, oh, you know what I mean? I'm with like, you. They have like a, an a agenda of what they're yeah. doing, you know Which what I mean? Which is fair enough, right? Like yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. and I think we get caught up where I'm sitting in here. We've got mics, we've got cameras pointing on us. People might glance over, but I'm looking around now, not one person is looking at us. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I have to get over myself sometimes when I'm taking photos out here in the general public. Yeah, it's really interesting because sometimes, like, I'll you know, for the influencer stuff, yeah, yeah. I'll go to some like corner or whatever, and somebody would be like, "Oh, hey, what are you doing?" You mm -hmm. know, and I might get insecure about it. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I but feel then I just kind of get over myself. But it's yeah. funny because I actually put the camera on them, and I'm like, "Hey, do you want to be in there?" And like, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't possibly. Be yeah. There. I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, really? Because yeah. you're interrupting my shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? So yeah. People, I feel like. The genuine interest is fine. Yeah. Like that to me, like I enjoy that because yeah. we're obviously people like you and I are doing something that is either something that they haven't thought of doing right. or something that they wish they could do. Mm. Um, and I, the in between, obviously, there's a lot of in between on that. It's a very like side to side. But uh, if I was upset, everyone that walked over here was like, oh, can I just ask you a question about this? And I do that. Like I get more people asking about it than actually joining it. Yeah. But I am I'm more like, oh yeah, let like let's chat about it. Some person's like, Oh, what battery are you using or what this? And yeah. like, I design batteries or something like that. I'm like, Okay, cool. Like like there's always I'm always so stoked just for the people showing interest, you know right. what I mean? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like if you're in the middle of doing a shot, like if I was in here filming and I'm trying to get like a great coffee shot. Yeah. And people keep interrupting and then I'd be like, oh, I'm trying to do work on this. Right. That's a different thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when For I'm sure. trying to invite people to come in and do some work and make me, um, make this popular. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, ask all the questions you want. Tell your friends. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the one part, of, so you get to 18, yeah. right? Yeah. And you've figured out that you, um, you don't, nothing really sort of matters mm -hmm. just like a Metallica song yeah um, then how does that transcribe or how does that go forward in your life because uh, I don't know how old you are you might be 65 you mm. might be uh, 32 right um, where how does that like do you have to recall back to that moment or do you has it just built upon itself now where you don't uh, feel that anymore like no, I do feel it. Yeah, okay. And I think that that it burns every now and then. Like, yeah. Because I'm like, you re you remember? Yeah. You remember this? Yeah. And, and <laughs> I'm probably <laughs> probably gonna sound like a psycho, but I, I remember that all the time. Yeah. Oh, and this I'm heaps like, of stories. I don't want to. I don't want to feel like this a yeah. certain way anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I constantly I push myself all the time. I, all right. Like I feel like I'm talking into a mirror. Yeah. Like like obviously there's some differences, but I'm like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do the same thing like there'll be certain conversations that have happened back in the day and I'll be like that happened when I was fucking 13 right even though I use that to drive myself now yeah in some sort of way yeah you know what I mean yeah yeah and that's okay. kind of one of the reasons why I like certain anime because oh. they do they do a lot of that kind of thing you know oh. when they show like the past yeah but, like I'm always really interested in why people are a certain way you know you what and I mean me, but we're sitting Not here just doing like, this you know where they are right now yeah why how do they turn up like that yeah. you know what i mean what are those interesting stories those key moments that like turn them into who they are right now yeah and a lot of times like i'll go in a room when i think about like 
being embarrassed or something like that. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll kind of think of everybody as like children almost. You oh, know what wow. I mean? And then being like, okay, what, you know, these are individuals that are children that have all these different experiences and you basically talk to these kids oh. about whatever that is. So you know? one thing I do is if I'm ever, if I'm leading into something where I know that I might be a bit, um, overwhelmed mm-hmm. uh, like if I'm talking to anyone mm-hmm. I this sounds so stupid I'm like everyone shits right right like so I'm like <laughs> everyone sits on a toilet yeah everyone feels uncomfortable everyone's had like die. like I know that seems so fucking weird but yeah. you put people in a situation that then they would never want to be publicly in yeah and we're all on the same page you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean yeah, yeah so I try and do that and yeah. be like okay like uh, a couple of weekends ago I was hanging out with these people and they're like tens of millionaires, like maybe even more than that, right? Like they're houses in all different, like hundreds of millionaires maybe. And they're such beautiful, lovely people. Mm. And even leading it, not that I had that thought, but I was like, a part of me is like, man, are we going to have things to talk about? Yeah. And then I sort of like, oh, hang on. We are definitely going to have things to talk about because they've got kids I've got kids. Right. They've got certain situations they've been in. Finding that common ground and sort of that, not that I was like, hey, they both shit. No, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And the, but the shitting sort of a metaphor to be like, hey, we both, we all end up doing the same things yeah. at some point in our lives, yeah. whether, whatever level it's on. Right. So going into that, and I was like, we end up having this like fantastic time and it's wonderful. It was just brilliant. Um, there's a lot of laughs and that going in. And that, but just leading into that made me feel like, okay. I need to sort of make sure that I'm setting, not setting the tone, but like uh, making sure I'm not feeling inferior of some right. sort, right? Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, oh, yeah. you're not as successful as what they are or like mm-hmm. they, yeah. But anyway. No, for yeah. sure. I think that's, because um, there is a lot of commonality, you know, in different cultures. You yeah. Know, just kind of like I said, everybody has a, a meat and bread dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's true. Mean? Yeah. You know, whether it's a pot sticker or a proroski. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. has it. So. I wonder, like, is every, like, does every culture have one? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Like a version of so, that. Like, so let's say the native, um, Alaskans, I don't know, uh, like, uh, I know that Eskimo is not the right word for them, but mm. like, just a generic of the native Alaskans. Like, were they able to make bread out I don't there? No, because I mean, grain wouldn't really. That's what I was thinking as well. <laughs> I know, but like, obviously, you're not saying everyone does, but it just that thought triggered in my head because yeah. like, everywhere I've been, there's been bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of some sort of bread. You know, but yeah, bread and yeah. meat. Yeah, yeah. You know either whether I mean? it's made out of corn or something yeah, like that. Or yeah, rice. Rice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, like, um, I think uh, in India they have like um, what are those things called? It's like almost like a crepe. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, yeah. All d- kinds of stuff. Tangent thing of just a thought that popped yeah, in my exactly. head. Exactly. All right. What are three things that you are grateful for? And if um, you say your big hands were done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I'm grateful for just life in general. Oh, I love that. You yeah. know what I mean? I I love, and it's gonna sound really super cheesy, but I love experiencing stuff. You know what I mean? I fully agree. I yeah. like there's sometimes where I'm like, I don't really want to get out of and do this. Like, uh, I was up at Kamano Island and the water was freezing, mm-hmm. and I didn't want to go um, paddle boarding with the kids. Yeah, and I was like, I don't want to fall in. I don't want to be a wet and freezing while I'm like all yeah. the way out. But we got out there and we did, it and we had this blast of a time. Yeah, and it's such a small little thing. Yeah, but just I was like, if I didn't get to enjoy that experience, then I wouldn't have that. Ex- Experience, right. but pushing yourself just to do even little things like that. Right. Yeah. 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 No, I'm 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 thankful for that. I'm thankful for like uh, supporters that are yeah. in my life. You know, they're yeah. just like, you know what? Like, I understand you, and I think I'm. I know you can go even further. You know, yeah. I'm excited about that. You know, yeah. um, just and um and what else? Hmm. Yeah. Just. I really just family as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Are you yeah. close with your family still? fairly close I'm, yeah. I'm pretty close we're closer than yeah. you know we have does been. your dad still live out here my dad still lives out here oh, yeah, 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 yeah yeah we're pretty close yeah. you know what i mean like it's basically him and i that live out here yeah so what about your two sisters are they still in detroit uh one of them is in um bahrain who's that uh it's kind of by dubai 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, she's yeah. over oh. there. For some reason, I was like, Buck Rain. I was like, where in America is that? Yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, it's not. So, <laughs> it's uh, probably Detroit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little yeah, bit no, east. <laughs> it's like right between Pittsburgh and Detroit. It's Buck Rain. <laughs> it's right there. You know what I mean? It's an island. It's really small. <laughs> you fly over it, you might miss it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you just drive right by. Oh, there, there, there it is. is. It's yeah. gone. No. Uh, so yeah, and then my other sister. What's she doing over there? Uh, she works at. A, she has actually at the embassy. What? Yeah, I know. I know. It's crazy, is, right? Do you feel like, well, dang, my sister's big wigging it over there? It, you know what? <laughs> my family, we do some really cool stuff. That is man. awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no. She. I'm really proud of her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, both of my sisters are doing really fun things. Yeah. You yeah. know what I so mean? So what's your other sister do? Uh, she is actually in a Portage. Uh, which is kind of close to it. this is the this is Michigan. Okay, that, that's the, the size of Michigan. Cause exactly. Hands that big. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if Detroit people or the other friends do this yeah. when they talk about Michigan, but no. this is this is what we do. Okay. We put up our hands. This because it's the mitten. Okay. And your other friends will know what I'm talking yeah, about. Okay, if they're yeah. Okay. Yeah. Detroit. So you know, there's Detroit right here, yeah. right by the water. And Portage is right over here, kind of okay. by Chicago. It's oh, close. Yeah, yeah. It's almost in the middle. When I drove into Chicago for the first time, and I came from uh, Milwaukee. Mm. Um, is that the city, Milwaukee? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I came from Milwaukee, and we're driving in. I was blown away, because I was like, there's just so many buildings, but it spans yeah. for so long. Yeah. And I was like, people, like, this is not normal. Like, what have we, like, yeah. this is crazy, because going from... Like Perth, Australia, even Sydney, Australia. Yeah. You drive and you're like, beep, there's a city. Oh, we're still going by. Like Buckrain next to uh, Detroit, right? Yeah, you're just yeah, driving yeah. by it. Like, right, yeah. <laughs> like compared to like you go to uh, Chicago and you're like, oh, this is a huge place. Yeah. Like it's massive. Yeah, no, sh- you know, it's actually really disappointing because I'm originally, like I said, I'm originally from Detroit. Yeah. And then, you know, Detroit people kind of have a little, there's a little competition oh, okay, there. Yeah, you yeah. know, kind of like how like, Seattle is with Portland or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. You know, Detroit has competition with Cleveland and then also, you know, Chicago. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you know, growing up, I was like, yeah. you know, Detroit, yeah. you know, that's where it's at. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I drive over to Chicago. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, <laughs> y'all got it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I had to give it up. They're doing big things over there. Hey, I'm going to say something controversial right now. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Deep this piece of sucks. Ooh. <laughs> I tr- I went there, yeah. uh, and it was like soup in a uh, wrapped in like a pizza thing, mm. yeah. and I was like, that's obviously not like soup, but yeah. Me and my friends, I was like, because I was so excited, I was like, deep dish pizza. I've heard about this like forever in Australia, yeah. like any movies that are sort of based around here, like, yeah. you know, like deep dish, deep dish, and like we get, I get there and I'm like. This is like a soft quiche. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What's going on here? Well, it's it's. I feel like it's one of those things where you can eat every now and then, but it's not really, you know, like you don't have a steady diet of it <laughs> or whatever. So, I think that's with pizza in general. It, it yeah. Pretty much, yeah. You don't get a gut like yeah. this. <laughs> you and me both. I probably Without eating a couple of pizzas, you know what I mean? No, but I did. They actually, know you by name. You've got this exactly. Gut on it. <laughs> but I did talk to a couple of uh, Chicagoans. Yeah. And they were just like, you know what? Here's the thing that a lot of people don't know. We actually don't eat deep dish pizza. Oh. So they eat a different type of pizza. They, oh, they, they got a secret pizza. Exactly. They walk in and they're like deep dish, you know, and they're like they, local. You know, oh, they're like <laughs> the yeah. little wink, the yeah, little yeah. like slide yeah, yeah. of the nose <laughs> like, thing. Ding ding. You know? <laughs> and they're like, oh, oh yeah, your access. Here you are. <laughs> the door opens and yeah. they get to go through. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. That, so yeah, that'd actually be really cool if that was a thing. Exactly. That yeah. should be a movie. When I was in um, New York, there was this uh, hot dog place. Okay. And you could go into the phone booth and he answered the riddle you could go into the cocktail bar next what? door. But if you didn't answer the riddle, you couldn't go in. So me and my friend were there. He's, my mate, this mate Sparkles, I've got the tattoo right here. Okay. He is this, to me, they're just the epitome of cool. Like whatever he does somehow yeah. is just cool. Yeah. Like he was in the music industry in Australia. He's like, um, works for Cedar Summit, this big um, outdoors brand now. And just, he's just a legend, right? Yeah. And just, I would wear a jacket and he would wear the jacket and the jacket looks cooler on him. You know okay. those people oh. that just have that vibe? <laughs> fair, fair. I feel like it's like the same. Like you would wear the jacket and I would wear the jacket and right. you would wear it and I'd be like, oh, okay, right. he's got it. He won yeah. this one. Yeah. Um, right. But anyway, so we, we're in there hanging out. We're cool and we're like, we're going to do this. Yeah. We're going to go in there. 
so we have the hot dogs we go in there we get the we get the pick because it's literally a phone booth and you pick okay. up the phone and you go and they answer the riddle and we're like uh no like that's not the answer he picks up no that's the answer and then i go oh we should try again he goes no nah, it's cool man yeah and then we walked out and never never got into there oh. and so you walk out and i think you can go in through another door that's just the main entrance i don't know why but he, and i was like we should just go in like let's have a cocktail yeah. and say what we went he goes nah man we didn't make it in there and i've never been so like uh just coolified like hey pump your brakes you're right. cool just keep it moving yeah, yeah, yeah. and i was like okay you've uh, again one life of being cool yeah just that sort of mentality no 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 where, not for us where is this located is it, what kind of diagon alley place <laughs> is this like <laughs> tap three bricks exactly. and it moves yeah you know I mean? yeah i feel you i feel you uh i can't remember what it was called it started with a c the hot dog place okay um but I can't remember. It was oh. so long ago now. I think it was my son was one and a half. So that's 10 years ago now. Fair, so, fair. Yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. remember. If I remember it, I'll text you okay, and yeah, 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 find yeah. out the name. For sure, yeah. yeah. Let me so know. you can fly out there and be like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know oh, I, mean? I beat the riddle. Exactly. Suck. <laughs> um, exactly. All right, so there are your three things. Uh, you have to wear a shirt with a slogan on it for the year. What Ooh. does it say? Ooh. Oh, man, I did have a slogan. I totally forgot it. Is it International Antonio? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> does Dallas? <laughs> it does Dallas. Uh, um, man, what was it? Oh, man. I haven't been sleeping a lot lately. So my memory is, like, gone. Um, uh, something like... Probably something oh man i should have wrote it down it was a good one too because it kind of basically summed up but it was just like something about like proving people wrong okay some you know what i yeah, mean yeah yeah i think those i think Pro- something like that so prove them wrong yeah yeah yeah. i think that's about it yeah yeah, yeah. i think that's great yeah. at one point i think if i get more time i'd love to like do like Every time someone does a slogan, I make a shirt and send Ooh, it to them. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. well as doing the like the drawing and stuff like that. Yeah. So but how does that work? I mean, can we talk about this? You like, can talk about whatever you want. Yeah, like we've gone pretty far yeah. now. Like <laughs> that's my point. Like no, guy, we can't talk about it anymore. <laughs> what do you, What do you want to ask? Well, so how do I mean, so you draw? Are you sketching like me or you or like how does it? Work? So basically, um, you know how there's like caricatures. Yeah. I consider this like a story caricature. Okay. Uh, and I try and pull and pick pieces from here and then make a illustration based on it. Oh, okay. So the last one with the frog, right? Yeah. He uh, did a... Did you hear when he did the old prospector voice? Yeah. So then I did a frog that was an old prospector breaking gold. Nice. Okay. Like, obviously, I have to figure out how much time the illustration is going to take right. and how much like to make it not make it worth it but like make it good enough for this but also not soak up and be like a whole I could do a drawing for a whole week and add, like have every piece in it and be like oh look at this like amazing full illustration yeah or I'd pull this one piece from it so I, in this one I what normally happens is I as soon as we walk out I forget the whole conversation fair because I'm so in the moment with this like mm. enjoying it and, yeah, like, yeah. and then when I go through and edit it unless something pops in on my like drive home or like oh this and so that one popped up really quickly for the frog in this one I'm like well you didn't have any animals so I'm like great now I can't use a fucking animal to base the illustration around mm. then I'm like okay I could uh, what sort of should I do some sort of like travel theme should I do like can I try and like I, I've got a sketch pad, so like right here, right? And then I have a whole bunch of sketches in here. Oh, I love it. That, so this was the one of another creator. Oh, wow. He does like a plasma channel and That's he's cool. like, a, like, I was like, oh, it's a mad scientist sort of thing. And then that was like, it just popped in my head and I was like, That's how it's going to be. I and, love that. Like, I love sketching. Because I, I don't know if you knew this, yeah. but I actually illustrate as well. Oh, did you? I didn't yeah. know that. Are you are like... You do everything. Yeah. I, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm not putting this out. I You're think right. people are going to be like, why am I listening to this? I can just go over to Antonio and just do everything. No, I You're love like a whole TV channel. 
I try, okay? You know what I mean? They said I couldn't do it. Yeah. You know? so, so now I'm everything. You know? <laughs> I'm an octopus anime. Exactly. <laughs> Traveling, I'm eating everything. Exactly. So, uh, no, I love the, I love pure sketching. You know uh, what I mean? With no color, just that raw I, line weight. You know I, what I mean? God, I do as well. I feel like... So when I was like coming up with the illustration, so what I do is I sketch that, but then I take it to an iPad Pro mm. and then I bring it to life in love that. It, yeah. And then I put that on Redbubble, and which is like a uh, print-on-demand site, okay. like like T Public or Threadless or stuff like that, yeah, right? Yeah. So I put it up on there so that way um, people can purchase it if they want. No one's bought nice. one, so okay. don't um, don't feel obliged when this goes up. Fair, um, but the it's to I sort of have to like sort of go alright I'm putting it up there so then it's it's a completed piece nice now I do this other version of this podcast um, to help promote it where I ask people three questions and I, you, usually at the moment it's the same three questions um, what's your favourite food what is your favourite animal and what do you do for fun and so people answer it and then I'm able to do an illustration based on that and it's like but they're really sort of rough digital sketches and it'll be something like um, a friend of mine commented, oh, I love pizza, I love zebras, and I love watching my boys surf. So I put her, uh, a woman's body with a zebra head what, um, on a floating um, pizza, like okay. in the water. You know, it's that sort of random and odd. Yeah. And so that's what I sort of try and do with here. I, want it, I don't want it to be on the nose all the time. Yeah. Like the last interview I did, there's a guy that's... Um, a drummer and stuff but I was like I don't want him just drumming like what can I do to make it for fun so I'm sort of sometimes I struggle trying to find the illustration and mm. that's part of the print but once I find it, I'm like alright here we go and I can dig deeper on it right but that's sort of the process and how it sort of comes along yeah hmm. Did that answer it, or did I just ramble for I about? Know, I, I got it. Okay, I got cool. it. Yeah. Do so you sketch much? Like, are you storyboarding out your content and stuff like that? No, or? I don't. Oh. I don't. I used to. Well, I never did actually <laughs> storyboard. <laughs> I hate storyboarding for some yeah, yeah. reason. But uh, no, I just, I just sketch. I, you know, I mean, I sketched a long time ago, but um, I feel like anyone who's into cartoons, whether it's anime, like I was really into like Hanna Barbera and all those sort of cartoons. Mm. Um, and I think that started the help with the sketching and drawing and the love for it yeah uh, I, I wanted to originally when i was in high school one of the jobs that i wanted to do was work for disney oh yeah because i really enjoyed like their the mm-hmm. way they kind of did their thing or whatever mm-hmm. so um that was always something that i wanted to do but then i, I became a uh formatted and, and <laughs> indoctrined into you yeah. know like hey make money must Ma- make money doing this stuff so then i started doing graphic design yeah i was in the same sort of Field, yeah. You know what I mean? And then I was in class and drawing and stuff, and people were like, oh, wow, you can illustrate? And I'm like, mm. yeah, we're in art school. Everybody yeah. can illustrate. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, we can't. We uh, can't do that. So I think the same thing. I feel like anyone who's in some sort of artist, yeah. they can draw. Like yeah. I'm like, And then even I thought every graphic designer could draw, like sketch stuff right. out. Yeah. And they were like, no, 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 we can't. Yeah. We use these things to template it out right. or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. oh. Okay. Because I mean, you know, graphic design is basically like what things look good, good next to next nothing. to each other. You and know like what I mean? The, the colors, yeah. the feel, conveying a message. Yeah. You know, all but that even like stuff. laying it out, like if you if you and I were sitting here talk, talking, mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, let's lay this out real like quick in sketches. And yeah. there's a lot of people that won't do the squares and right. stuff. They would like write down what yeah. you want and then bring it away, where I could do that on the fly. Yeah. And then be like, all right let me get a different bit of paper and we'll add this piece here or chunk it out. Right. Like, a yeah. lot of people can, not saying they all can't, but yeah. I was surprised on how many people didn't. But yeah. I think there's a lot of surprising illustrators out there that those two people that I worked with at Nintendo and they are both fantastic illustrators and wow. put me to shame. Mm. Like, uh, like I think so anyway, when I look at them, uh, Jen and uh, Jeremy, both amazing illustrators and I'd be like, like, why do I pursue this? Right. Like, why? Like, these guys are doing it, and they don't even care enough to do it. Right. Like, they're really into their jobs, yeah. and they're doing this on the side. And I'm yeah. like, doing my job, so that at one point I can then leave and do this type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, they could blow me out of the water. Right, right. But then there's also that piece where I'm like, well, I'm going to go and do that and pursue that dream and idea. Right. So that's yeah. the dividing factor a little bit. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. 
Yeah. Not saying just for them on that, so just that people in general like that. But mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's the, sort of how the drawing comes along. You know what? I just remembered exactly what my, my slogan would be. Oh, yeah, do it. Um, it is... Uh, do you want me to re-ask the question? And no, 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 okay. I, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to lose it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, execution is worth more than the idea. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I don't know if you remember um, Design Commission who um, did the Creative Mornings, like David Conrad and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a big thing in that um, office was uh, ideas are worthless. Execution is uh, priceless. Yeah. I think that was the saying. Mm. And so we would do that, uh, like say that. So one time we were making these, um, we had a laser cutter in there and everyone's like, so we're making gifts for all these um, pe- uh, all our clients. And we're like, oh, that way you can have your phone there. And as I was walking out, I said, oh, you know, it would be fun if we had a little... Um, clock on there and it was like DC branded and it would like do certain things uh, pop up with um, motivational talk for them and they said as I'm walking out it's like you know the rule ideas are useless execution so the next morning I came in early started designing it out talked to the developer mm-hmm. within like two days we had this app called I Rock a Clock up there and so they then got sent out a QR code is like, hey, you can download this, uh, or like, here's the link, download it, put this on there, and you can use it. Mm. it uh, I think it, I don't know how much it got taken off or what, uh, how many downloads there or anything like that, but that was one of the reasons I got a job at Nintendo because the, the person that was, one of the people that was hiring me said, I love how you got the idea because I wrote down sort of what happened and how you got the idea, you executed and made it happen. Mm. And that was sort of very validating that right. it actually works you know yeah. what i mean yeah so, yeah, yeah and it's impactful yeah. yeah i fully agree with that mm. i like that a lot mm. well antonio thank you very much for jumping on this podcast yeah, and this letting me chew your ears off yeah uh and till next time yeah for sure all right i'm down <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> that was great thank yeah. you did you have fun yeah no, oh yeah fun. awesome curious how loud we were oh, yeah, I know. I'm sure there was sometimes <laughs> there were people like shut up right <laughs>